40 years ago, I was 22 years old, living in New York City, coming out, awkwardly, sometimes painfully, finding my way and looking for love. I remember playing Brigadoon over and over and over again on the record player. Over and over. I wonder why we were both playing it. I don't know. I just loved the album. It was very romantic, and I, I was love that I was album. sad, and it I was, was I wanted a boyfriend. Right, right. Because I I was think that I didn't sleep with anyone that summer except except you. <laughs> I, oh my god. I I was thinking that too. Actually, I was thinking that even during that summer. I didn't find but just as I was finding my way, an epidemic was taking hold. I remember it was referred to as gay cancer at the time. It wasn't called AIDS, and it was called GRID. 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 Gay cancer. Gay-related immunodeficiency. Four letters came together with deadly meaning and cast a shadow over our lives. The outbreak of, of AIDS was first recognized in, in the spring of 1981. I'm Eric Marcus, and this podcast, Making Gay History, brings LGBTQ history to life through the voices of the people who lived it. But I've never been the subject of this podcast. I rarely talk about that period of my life, a period of history that left so many of us forever changed, including me. I rarely talk about the loss. Too many names. Rick and Ernie, David, Ephemios, Kevin, Eric, Don, Craig, Mark, Bob. This summer, it's 40 years since the first documented cases of AIDS. And I want to talk about it with you. And I'm finally at a point that I can talk about it without sobbing. And I mean, I really couldn't talk about any of this without sobbing my self into a puddle. If I lose it and go into an ugly cry. I apologize in advance, but this, I don't usually think about this time, these, those days often. It's just too painful. Join me for Making Gay History Presents, Coming of Age During the AIDS Crisis, a story of finding my way in the 1980s. Over six chapters of this audio memoir I'll try to tell a little of what those first confusing and frightening years of the crisis were like. This isn't a story about heroics and sacrifice on my part. That wasn't my life. I'm going to introduce you to some of the people whose paths crossed mine. Friends I lost, men and women whose lives were upended by AIDS, and quiet heroes you wouldn't hear about otherwise. These are the experiences and the people that in the end helped make Making Gay History. The first chapter drops July 1st, 2021. Find us wherever you listen to podcasts and follow us or subscribe so you can be sure to hear this special season of Making Gay History from the start.